Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at the one sample t-tests and testing proportions. So we have the same data set that we've been working with, right? The different um, testing scores for the different students based on gender, race, socioeconomic status, school type, and program. So to do the one sample t-test, we're going to go to analyze, compare means, one sample t-test. The test variable has to be quantitative, so notice none of my categorical data even comes up as an option. So I want to look at the math score. And the test value here is the null hypothesis. Um, what am I testing? So I'm going to test whether or not the uh, average test score is 50. Under options, I can change the confidence interval if I want. Um, I'm going to leave it at 95 for now, but you know, depending on what you're looking for, you might want to change the confidence interval. And I click OK. And then in the output view, we have the mean, 52.65, so that is the sample average, the standard deviation, the standard error of the mean. And then in this little table here, we have our, um, our test statistics. So here is the 3.99, that's the test, um, the test statistic, the t-score. The, t the df is the degrees of freedom, so it's n minus 1. The significance is the p-value, and it always does the two-tailed p-value test. So our alternative hypothesis is the average is not 50. The mean difference is the mean that we got minus the test value, so 2.65. And then here's our 95% confidence interval. So we look at the fact that the confidence interval does not include zero, and that the p-value, the significance, is very, very small to conclude that we're going to reject the null hypothesis and say that the average math score is not equal to 50. So that's how you use the one sample t-test. The next thing we're going to look at is the proportions. I'm going to look at our data. I'm going to make it bigger. And proportions are always uh, binary. Right? We're going to look at either it is something or it isn't something. So I'm going to look at a category that's binary. So I'm going to look at gender. Right? You're either male or you're female. So we're going to ask ourselves, is the proportion of females 0.5? So is it 50-50, half female, half male? Now the bad thing about the um, proportions test is that it will not let you put in categorical data. So it will only let you put in numerical data. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new category, a new variable, where we're going to change the females to ones and the males to zeros. So we're going to go from categorical to numerical. And how we do that is we hit the transform button and then go down to recode into different variables. So I'm going to create a new variable. And over here I want the gender because that is the one I'm going to be transforming. And I'm going to click over. And then I'm going to hit old and new values. So over here the value is what the category is. So in our case female and I'm going to change the females to a 1. So for new value, I'm going to put a 1, and then I'm going to click Add. So old is female, new is 1. And then my other, category, my other option is male, and the males I'm going to change to a 0. And I'll click Add. And again, old, male, new, 0. I'm going to click the Convert Numeric Strings to Numbers, and click Continue. And then over here, make sure that gender is highlighted. And the output variable is what I want to call my new variable. So I'm just going to call it gender1. And I'm going to click the change button. So old was gender, new is gender1. And I'm going to click OK. So now we have this new variable called gender1. And all the females have become ones. And if I scroll down to males, all the males have become zeros. Now I can use um, the proportions testing. So I go to Analyze, go all the way down to Non-Parametric Statistics and Binomial. 
And again, it's binomial because the proportions are either you are something or you aren't something. So it is a binomial. And we're going to go all the way down to our new um, binomial numerical variable gender one. And then here the defined dichotomy is going to be get from data. It's either a zero or a one. And I'm going to test that the proportion is 0.5. And this is my, hypo my null hypothesis. Is the proportion 0.5? And I click OK. And I'll put that back down smaller and look at the output, video, uh, output file. So gender 1, group 1 was a 1. Remember that's female. So it's saying there are 109 females, 91 zeros, which corresponds to 91 males. Here's the observed proportions. The test proportion and then the um, two-tailed uh, significance, or the two-tailed p-value. So if we look, our p-value is pretty large, 0.229. So that means that we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So we're saying that it's not not 0.5. Right? We're not rejecting the null hypothesis. We could also use the proportion test to look at a range of values. So let's go back to analyze non-parametric statistics in binomial. But this time, instead of looking at the gender, I'm going to ask the question of what proportion of students got above or below a certain math score. So I'm going to move the math score over. And again, it is numerical, so I'm allowed to put it in. And then this defined dichotomy, I'm going to change to a cut point. And I'm going to ask myself, how many of the students um, got above a 55 and how many got below a 55? And again, I'm going to ask, um, is that proportion 0.5? So I'm going to click OK and scroll down. So now my groups have become, group 1 is if they scored less than or equal to a 55 in the math score. Group 2 is then the opposite, if they scored at most a 56. And again, here are the numbers, here's the observed proportions, the test proportion, and then the two-tailed significance test uh, value. So here, the p-value is very small, 0 0.001. So that means that I do reject the null hypothesis, and I say the proportion of students that got below a 55 is not equal to 0.5. And if we look at the observed proportions, hopefully it's not too much of a stretch to say, no, that's not 50 50. Okay, so you can do the proportions with um, two values, 0, 1, or again, splitting it up between two sets of values. But again, remember that you have to use numerical data, you cannot use categorical. But again, if you just go to transform, recode into different variables, you can change categorical to numerical fairly easily. Okay, so again, play around with it. Um, let me know if you have any questions. And just have fun with it.